you just have to love to see Elishnorn in action, right? Every single time that baby does something, it's just... She makes the board better. She makes my day brighter. I want... I want someone to look at me like I look at Elishnorn. I really do. I really, really, really do. How's it going, boys? Today on Historic Brawl, we are playing a Chud Lane Commander deck. A Bond Creature deck. One of the absolutely strongest creature decks that we have ever made. Potentially, even maybe the strongest. And that's not even a lie, because I have the attention spam of a six-year-old, so I don't exactly remember what I even did yesterday in Magic. But on the other bright side, that means I forget all the bad memories of my life. Win-win, technically. Not even lying, boys. So, with that being said, I'm gonna also reveal, during this video, the secret of making good brawl decks, because boys, man, you're really bad at making brawl decks, I see it constantly. So some of you are trying to make the most absurd things happen, and they're not happening in Brawl. Brawl is fantastic, fun, and elegant if you know how to make a deck. If you don't know how to make a deck, well, congratulations, you're not having a good time. But your boy is gonna reveal a secret. Also, like and subscribe, enter a competition, a giveaway. First on this channel, I am gonna be giving away absolutely nothing. Only lies and maybe cute words and stuff. All you need to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment to enter this giveaway that's gonna result in absolutely nothing. Cannot promise that I will not delay the winner by a couple of years until everyone forgets or slash dies from old age. So even nothing gets received by no one because that's the true way of me. Can't guarantee that that's not gonna happen, but anyway, do all of that, boys. 38 lands to be specific, and you're gonna see a lot of interesting things. Again, not even lying when I say that this is probably the be better creature deck that we have ever designed. And there's a lot of reasons for it. And with that being said, without any further ado, well, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. Will you look at that? We're up against the Vorex Licks. I have never played against that. Kinda interested to see what's gonna happen. Should I keep on doing version as a lane as as a playable card? I'm honestly not sure, yo. Well Oof. Man, that's a lot of MacGuffins. Okay, let me figure out how do I wanna play this. Probably like this. Yes. Missing one color of land. But we do have the Arcane Sigil, so it's kind of fine. He got to go first. Hopefully he doesn't actually just ramp into that for Exlix. That would be the only bad thing, honestly. Everything else is kind of like a meager, but okay-ish. Okay, gonna drop the Oketra. Gonna drop this, and that's gonna give me an, uh, an edge. Hopefully. <laughs> Again, the, the plan currently is a little bit more or less around the lines of let's be hopeful that we oh jeez well that's one mighty fast slouks. that's problematic to say the least okay uh how about this we take one less damage well we're gonna take two less damage which is gonna be a huge difference make it obviously so, yeah, what am I supposed to do? He drops that. I honestly don't know what we're supposed to do. He just ramped up into it, and we don't have any reasonable contingencies. But five damage without him uh, honestly doing anything is kind of good. It's, it's kind of dealable, you know? Drop this. Okay, do I drop this? Or do I just Risen Reef? I think I have Ketra just to be super safe. Because this is gonna cost 4, right? That's 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 good, that's good, right? And this is gonna cost, well, not a lot. Okay, so here's the plan. While we're still alive and breeding, which is questionable when you see a Borexlix in front of you, arguably even doubtable that you're gonna be breeding for a long time. But the plan is simple, right? 
we survive. And then we wham bam win the game. You know, we got the MILFs on lockdown, we got the this on lockdown, we got the game on lockdown, everything's on lockdown, boys. So yeah, maybe he, he has bad deck. Probably. Mo again, most people don't for some reason know how to make brawl decks. I'm gonna at some point reveal you the secret sauce of making an actual successful slash good brawl deck. Are you kidding me? Did you really need fi 50 years to decide that you're gonna do it like that, Chief? Kinda, you know, a lot anticlimactic, not gonna lie. Why does this show is gonna enter the battlefield untapped? Why does that show the same? I don't have a- OH! I do! Oh la la! Well, this makes things a lot easier. Okay. So, with this, I actually have a sh chance for the last dance. Hopefully he doesn't have a lot. Admittedly, that's gonna buff, and eh, there are some problems with that. But he can't do the- well, he can't do a lot still, but he can't do that that much. He can only do a lot, lot. Okay! Thank you! Elish Nord, you are my favorite waifu, no questions asked. No, no other woman has even come close. Okay, let's face it. Primal mill, boss mill. Those girls know what's up. Okay, if he bl attacks with everything, I don't think I'm actually even block. No, I need to block. So, what do I do? Oh. You'll, you, you love to see it. Boys, you absolutely love to see it. Okay, and now I should honestly not drop this. But I'm gonna drop it because, you know, uh... Manlyhood points. Ooh. Now I'm gonna go for the Landy boy -o. Ah, yeah! Ah, oh, this is the sauce. We're, we're back in it, boys. Okay. So, I'm gonna reveal the secret of proper deck making in Brawl. If a card combos with only one other card in your deck, that's called a bad card. You should probably not play something like that. You, in Brawl decks, you do, you're not looking for syner, uh, synergies. You're looking for cards that, well, do... They, they, they literally do things. You're just looking for cards that are capable of doing things solo. You're looking for cards that don't require a combo. You're looking for stuff like that on a, well, massive, honestly, basis. If a card is only good because it combos with another card, that's probably something you don't want to play. That's something probably you don't want to use. That's essentially the absolute 100 golden rule of, well, you know, this format. And he just surrendered. You can see it in my Brawl decks super easily. Every card does something, and that card functions without anything else. For example, Paradisio Druid. It's just a simple ramp card. Ramping is good because we have a lot of cards to play, so it's always useful. Uh, the Hydra. Got lands, pay the things, pretty good. This thing gets a land. Every card that I have put in my deck is literally just... I'm gonna do something without, you know, anything else needing to happen. Sure, I do have a couple of value cards, but even those value cards do have some strict rulings. Uh, one of the best rulings that I have for uh, cards like that is... That, if it's a combo card, for example, Cleric Class, it needs to be super non-expensive. One cost is kind of super non-expensive. Or it needs to have a lot of synergy in its in of, of itself. So yeah, there are a couple of rules that we need to follow when, uh, when it comes to this. Also, this is a cute interaction with Apparition. If he takes the commander back to the command zone, there's nothing under the apparition, which means, well, a value cadalu, boys. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, my. You could be pretty good, but no. This is also one of our value cards. And 
this card has such instantaneous value because we we are rolling with so many cheap cards. It's you know it, it's arguably it, it arguably never was a, pro, a problem to not fit it into the deck. No value cards are expensive in this deck or in generally almost any deck that I make. Again, it's a very easy, very very easy uh, easy amount of rules to follow. What do I do not want? Well, honestly, I want everything in the hand. So there we go. Drop this. Let's play that. And we're gonna start off with some uh, nice combo wombos. Do I cast this? I can cast it for four. For four is not enough. Ah, oh, you elf cretin. Man, play Brawl, you still can't get rid of elves. Is this insane or, or what? Well, honestly, it's understandable why Wizards is slowly changing the Brawl format. Because I have recently come across situations where, yeah, even in Brawl format, it's like I have nothing to play for 10 turns. Even though my average deck cost is 3 against the opponent who just ramps up on turn 4 to his 10 cost commander and then just a wombo combos me instantaneously out of the game. I sadly have seen that a lot more. And considering that just happened, well, that just makes my decision so ridiculously much easier. Thank you, my dude. Oh, well, suddenly my decision is not that easy once again. Uh, okay. Plan B Alpha Chad 7. Oh, please attack. Oh, he didn't. Oh, uh, what, what an absolute pussy. Okay, how am I doing this? Dude, if I can just... Nope, nope, no. Nope. We're doing it like this. <laughs> uh, and now we're doing it like this. I wonder if he's even gonna block. We got the Archon, and this guy's effect is absolutely insane. It's exile target permanent. Anything! He can exile anything with this bad boy. And considering... Oh, you got... You, man, of all the things that are unholy, you just needed to magically have the thing that does the stuff and the, the stuff. Oh, wow. And that's a 5-5, five, five, by the way. That's a serious problem. Meow? I like to think big. That's what I thought. Also, I can't actually block that out of 10. Okay, problems. Do you have- Oh, you have reach! I completely forgot. Oh, what am I supposed to do with this unholy whatever cadaver it is? Okay, uh... Do I even have a plan? Okay, the plan's simple. No, wait, it's... Uh... Okay, what if I do this and then just get back? Yeah, that's actually a very... Fine idea, not good. Meow. I can do this all day. Come on, C come at me. I'll absolutely shrek you. Uh, but first, this. I'm gonna let the cat out of the room. Meow. Hey, hey. There we go. Order triggers. Skype clap. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Did I just not click on my thingy? The turn target creature to its owner's hand and destroy. I did. Oh, because it was on. Yeah, that makes every shred of sense. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, for a moment there, I thought, what the hell is happening? Ah, oh, yes. Good. Man, look at that. A Marvin that costs a trillion but does nothing. Also, I, I like his aptitude on trying to make Garouk happen. Stop. There's, there's a point when you need to stop trying. And that point is probably when you're facing up against your boy. Exactly. Now we're up against the Yarug deck. I don't know, I always found Yarug decks kind of funny to a degree. Gonna start off with this because there's no way we play Kinnan anyway, so... Why drop the gate of Ishtil? Hmm. How good is this? This hand is not good at all. 
Well, I'm gaining a little bit more self, so it's okay. If I get the five mana, I'm actually super happy noises. Because it's just the value number. And there's a chance he does nothing. This is an enter the battlefield type of deck. And I do have a lot of ways to deal with it. Well, I don't have a lot of ways to deal with it in particular, but I do have 500 ways until sunset to, you know, uh, value. J just essentially value. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, we're gonna have a pretty decent chud lane. If we draw a basic land, otherwise the gate of Istfel. Kind of a bad move not playing it there. But we should be fine, because... You know why? I believe in myself. There's not a lot of people that believe in themselves anymore. For very good reason, most of you are absolutely goddamn pathetic. Uh, but... Having a backbone even if you are pathetic is... Definitely the, the prime time move that you should probably make in your life. You need to have self-confidence probably around anything and everything you do, contemplate or whatever. Also, this guy's currently not being happy about stuff. Oof. Man, I'm gonna... So I'm gonna drop Chud Lane, and I'm probably gonna just Elspeth, which is Ultra Omega Protection, so it's perfect. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. Also, if you want, there are a couple of enchantments that you can put in this deck and make it a little bit more value. A little, admittedly, a little bit less consistent, I would personally say. Uh, but there are some things that you can 100% do, and they're gonna be technically fine-ish. For example, the thing that bounces stuff a 4-cost enchantment. That's pretty good if you get, for example, an elite guard mage. We do have things like Elvish Rejuvenators. There's essentially quite a few things that we can bounce. And one of the value cards that I did put in the deck is the three costing creature of whatever that, you know, does stuff. Oh, and this is gonna be a perfect Elspeth. Perfect Elspeth, boys. Oh, you, you gotta love it when it happens, boy. Perfect Elspeth, maximum protection and everything. Oh, that's... he's not happy. He's not happy about that. Okay, all I need to do now is draw basic land and, well... Jinjidraxis is gonna do some naughty, naughty things. Even if I don't get it, though, I will have this and I will be able to play that. So, that's ramp. Guaranteed land. That's a card draw. So, my turn is gonna be draw four cards... Ramp 1, or probably 2, because let's be real here. So many possibilities. And everything's still protected with Elspeth. This, this hand just works. Because all the cards are good individually, and they have some scaling with each other. That's how you make an absolutely sublime deck. Okay, now there's a... Okay. It's a creature deck, so there's no reason for me to play Ginger Oxus. Yeah, there's legit probably, like, no real reason for me to play Ginger Oxus here, because he's not removing it, my, uh, my stuff. At least I hope he's not. That's kind of a lot of my, you know, genius thinking right here. Oh man, got, got some, got some pretty good sauce, not gonna lie. And even there, I'll take it. I think I didn't drop a basic land, so I'm honestly taking that. Oh, I did drop a basic land. Not a, not a big deal. He still can't rat. He still can't do anything. Even if he's thinking about ratting, I just ginger axis now and... Oh, boys, we just call it that day. Beautiful. Yeah, spend all your mana playing whatever that is. Theoretically, this should be a worthy matchup, I'm not gonna lie. Th this should definitely be a worthy matchup. I want this on blue because reasons. I'm gonna start off with Kinnon because, you know, reasons. Oh my lord, the lord! Now that's s s s s I like it. Oh, Immortal Sun even. I, I, I Omega like it. 
Oh, when a plan comes together, boyo. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna attack. Obviously not, because... Oh, actually, I don't have the mon... Oh, no, I do... No, wait, do I have the mon... Does... Does Kinnan work with Alicia? I don't know. I never have tried it. We're gonna see. If when he plays something... Oh, no, it doesn't, because then we would have priority here. Damn it. I never have seen this interaction. Does Kinnan work with Alicia making things into lands? I guess it doesn't because it would... Kral Harpooner. Wow. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hot minute since I have seen this card. Can you imagine this was decently played at the time? It was. Kral Harpooner was actually pretty legit. It's a 3-2 and it's pretty much always getting... In any deck you had a Kral Harpooner and it just guaranteed a free flying removal. And it's a decent card on its own. And there was even a... I don't remember exact details, but there was a combo deck that made Kral Harpooner get haste. And deal like 20 damage in a single pop. Which was kind of hilarious. But yeah, I, I think I'm outscaling my enemy kun, which is absolutely fine. Oh, so sad, so sad I couldn't save him. Oh, but it's fine. I have a lot of things, and he has nothing, and he can't cast a single spell, otherwise Gingeroxis is here. Oh, when a man, when a <gasps> Man, that was... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Is this even legal? What did he pick? What's the other one? No, he picked my Gingeroxus. I can't play Immortal... I can't play Immortal... I can't play Immortal Sun now. Ain't that amazing? You... You absolute animal. What have I done to deserve this? I have been nothing but kind, luscious, fragrant- Oh, Pierre, oh, we got it. Fuck you. I hate you. I'm gonna hunt you down like the goddamn Johnny Avatar animal you are, and there's nothing you can do about it. You filthy, filthy, how dare you. This is what you are, hashtag humble, you know. Ah, uh, animal land, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he concedes after this, because, you know, the best part of his board is essentially my things. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hmm. That's odd. It's not, it's not working. Maybe if I click more aggressively. Okay, right, this did not... This, fuck your stupid best in that case. Wait, he gets a stronger thing. Oh my god. Okay, so... Here's essentially the problem. Right? The problem is... These are all lands because Alicia makes things into lands and the uh, Cavalier of Dawn had uh, the not target lands part in it. Which ruins literally everything. I wanted to see in life. I can't- Well, admit it. No, now I actually get to play Immortal Sun. That's good. But he can't attack because uh, the Archon's just gonna GG no re him. So, at least that's something. But, you know, not cool. So, we're in a stalemate currently. Sooner or later, I'm getting that Archon of Justice, uh, you know, skewered. And then, when that happens, that Mind Flayer is also GG no read. So, doesn't have a lot of choices, honestly. But the big part is I can probably just get the Immortal Sundown, which is gonna be bigly. Thank god I have 3 trillion HP. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Are you gonna attack me? Oh wait, it proc two times, that's really bad. 
Are you gonna attack me? Is this, is this gonna be it? Are you gonna try and attack me, you absolute shizzle vizzle? See what- come on! Attack me! See what happens! I'll take it! I'll take it! I'll take it through Monday to Sunday! Do it! Do it! Do it! Come on! Pussy! There we go. Blue eyes, white flag on. No wonder you. No wonder you have such weak moves. By the way, I'm sending you the shadow realm because you stole my things. Yeah, that's just how it works. I know you didn't exactly agree to a shadow duel, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. So I'm considering I'm not dead, right? Or am I? I didn't count, but I'm assuming my bravado will 100% just allow me to win because... To survive because of this. Yeah, you see? Not even close! Not even close. Also, yes, this is a loop. Cavalier of Dawn, meet that thing, meet Cavalier of Dawn, and so on and so on and so on. Give me my stuff back, you goddamn freak of nature. There we go. Ah, feels good, man. What now? You, you, you just, you just did your best move. And, and I completely, like, ignored its existence. It's, I, I wasn't even honestly... I wasn't even... I wasn't even really, you know, it wasn't even close. Oh, this pain, this is gonna pain me a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna pain me a little bit. Because I need to choose. Okay, so anyway. Uh, now this. Oh, yeah. You tried your best, but your best was kind of like mediocre slash completely non-consequential. Non, non Inconsequential, as they say. Oh. But I like it. I like when people try to oppose me. It just makes me feel better about myself. Because, you know, they're struggling and they're trying and they think that they're gonna do or, or achieve something. But in reality, it's like, okay. Okay, that, that, that this was my best. My best was stealing two creatures of yours, calling them my own, and then attacking and hoping for the best. Yeah, that's not exactly impressive, by any standards. And nowadays a lot of things are very impressive for no reason. That's also pretty neat, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Uh, you know what, Celestis, why not? I'm not afraid. Like, at all. Okay, let's do it like that. Next turn. Just gonna swing with a Dream Thwarter. Been a while, you know, a hot minute since Dream Thwarter had done anything useful. A little bit naked, so if he top decks, uh, Crater Hoof, Behemoth. You know, may may maybe not great. <laughs> maybe that's not gonna be great and stuff. Uh, but should be good, should be good, should be good. Let's see if he attacks. Obviously, he's not gonna attack, but you know, still. Imagine if he did. Imagine that. Hmm. Dream Twa Can I get- can I- can I get the Kinnon? Wait, can I? Oh, I actually can. Wow, that's kind of a little bit unexpected, not gonna lie. Okay, is it my- yes. He already skipped it, so, you know, let's just- let's just do the Kinnon. Oh, yeah, a news. That seems okay-ish. More bodies. Draw extra. I like it. I like it. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That's definitely pretty neat. Okay. Drop it like it's hot. Draw it like it's hot. Oh, here's our, here's our value card that I was talking about. This thing. Soul Herder. Pretty cool card, pretty cool card. It can bounce anything, puts into exile and makes things more powerful. Essentially, it's a wombo combo miracle type of card thing deal. So, you know, pretty good on average, pretty decent on average. 
So I want I want to pump myself up as much as possible with Dream Twi- Hello there, Gilfy Milfy. Okay, she's only Gilfy, but you know, good enough. <laughs> good enough. Oh, that's pretty cute. Can I pl should I pl the, the real question is probably should I play it? Yeah, good enough. Two cosmic elixirs. Uh, again, do you see how absolutely everything I do, some magically how combines with something else? Because it does. But no card requires the other card to function. I should have also probably dropped that bad boy, but it's fine. So re-exile that thing because reasons take actions. Oh yeah, that's that's so so. That's that's literally so so. Oh yeah. Oh, he he heliod. Cuteness overwhelming, as they say. And pass. It's not even close. Admittedly, every time I play Brawl, it's not even close. Wizards is trying to make Brawl a little bit more unfriendly to me, because, you know, I did say that I like Brawl a lot. Probably my... F no, actually, Standard is currently also on the mm, clutches of the best format. That's that's cute. I haven't seen a Zoni being played in forever. Standard is also kind of, uh, kind of... Brawl and Standard are currently by far my favorite formats together. Standard is just kind of okay if you're trying to, uh, trying to be serious at it, because there's a lot of options to honestly do a lot of different things. Even though it's like mostly just Selesny enchantment decks still. As long as you make a deck around dealing with Selesny enchantment decks, you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a reasonably good time. So yeah, options, options, options. Also, look at this. Oh, did he run out of stuff? I think he ran out of stuff. Yeah, that's possible. Well, ooh, El Schnorden, baby! That's what I love to see. Oh, I saw, I forgot to uh, use Kinnon. Damn it. I actually really wanted to use Kinnon there. Uh, but it's fine. Let's see, what do we want back? Uh, the Elite Guild Mage, because he draws a card. If I can get... Well, it, no, I can get the thing, though. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, um, let's see. Drop this because it's free real estate. I love it. Well, actually, it's not free real estate. This is not a legendary for some reason. Never understood why Arcane Sigil is not a legendary. Uh, but it's not. <laughs> okay, now drop this. And we're gonna... Well, we're gonna just establish a little bit of dominance. God, you, you just you just have to love to see Elish Norton in action, right? Every single time that baby does something, it's just she makes the board better. She makes my day brighter. I want I want someone to look at me like I look at Ella Schnorn. I really do. I really, really, really do. I also like that Hel Heliod's instantaneously considered the creature, which makes no sense in my mind. Oh, here's al also another extremely cutesy combo card so we drop this bad girl Tatiana by the way her name is Tatsyoba <laughs> oh I can bet her name is Tatsyoba Tatsyoba so you know relax there okay do this man how many th Ooh, that's big I like it I like it that's 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 big Actually, I love it. I'm putting counters on random things currently, by the way. It, it literally makes no difference to me. I also don't even know why I'm getting so many procs. Also, honestly, there's not a lot of point in having Yahtzee because we don't have any real skills to cast, but that's a, I guess that's fine. So now I'm just going to declare the winning move. Man, this wasn't even fair. Because this deck is not fair. It's just that good. 
pure, pure mayhem. I love it. I love it so much. Good game, my dude. You, 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 you did your best, and, you know, everyone can now see that your best was not even remotely close. I wasn't in the ballpark area of something reasonable. Like, the concept that you even had a shot is kind of laughable, to be honest, my dude. Oh. Oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, now there's something I'm doubting. I'm not sure if it's possible for me to win against this deck. These mutate decks seem unreasonably good. And they can easily use cards like Apexes and whatnot. Ultimatums, I mean. So, you know, they're really ridiculously good. This may be something that wins against us. But we do have a Skycleave Apparition. And a, I would say pretty decent amount of sauce here. So, you know, it's good. All the colors? Maybe? Maybe? But yeah, I, I'm always up for... Oh, that's a little bit much, not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm always... I'm gonna drop this for safety purposes. We should be drawing at least one land, right, in the next two draws, so I think we can play a Mothra. But yeah, Immutate decks seem kinda really, really powerful. There's so many good cards, there's so many good ways you can actually do this, it's kinda insane. And I need to get rid of all of that jazz. Well, he's gonna mutate over it, so I can always Elspeth it. But there are risks to it, so... Well... No, actually, I... Oh, oh, yes, that's that's good. That's real good. Okay. Uh, I wanted to use Elvish Rejuvenator, but it's clearly I can't. <laughs> Otherwise, I screw myself over really hard. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope he does nothing. Well, if he mutates this, it's fine. Because I will have the solution for it. Wait, do I have the solution for it? Yes, I do have the mana. I was thinking maybe I don't have the blue. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So how good this deck currently is? We have three wins on record. Well, actually we have four. Four wins, one loss. But you're not gonna see one win because it was just ridiculous. It was too fast of a crush. I think my opponent just had absolutely nothing. And the loss was literally right after the game and it was kind of the same deal i had absolutely nothing and got crushed instantaneously so yeah okay now let's hope for the best because this is a little bit problematic will i want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy to get uh chad lane value that's the real question here okay he didn't get anything well, I can bounce Chud Lane in. But he's one mana off. Ah, it's so annoying. No, I can always exile. I can always exile. Also, uh, for the Chud Lane deck, I, I don't know. I, I'm not actually honestly feeling it. I'm honestly not feeling it that well. Okay, how do I want to do this? Do I just want to wipe? Or do I maybe want to play something beforehand? Uh, let's not lose the HP, you know. No, no reason to do it, honestly. So, might as well just do it like this. Too bad I can't do anything else, but, you know, it is, a, it is what it is. It's fine. Hmm. Chud lane? Co commander zone? No. Hand. Hand it is. I actually never noticed that it gave you an option to do that. That's kind of interesting. And now his thing costs a lot more. But yeah, this could be a pretty decent matchup. Oh, come on. You you can't just monstrous egg after that instantaneously. That just does not seem kosher. That seems extremely the opposite of kosher. Can I play this? No, but he's gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can legit just do this and it should be fine, right? Okay, a little bit questionable, I know, but it is what it is. Also, seriously, I should should probably ditch Yahtzee. There's no point in her in this deck except bonus cool points. Holy! 
Now, that's just illegal at this point, not gonna lie. Out of all things, so, wow. If he gets something big from this uh, mutate, by the way. Wait, can he even mutate? Does the mutate cost more? Yeah, the mutate clearly costs more also. Snake Veil, of all things unholy. Cheese Louise. And he got... That's also good. Wow. This guy is getting a lot of good stuff. Wait, he didn't play it? Wait, 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 why, 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 why didn't he play it? But the, oh, wait, did it, oh, he chose to put it in the hand? Okay. That's unexpect. Are you for real now? Unsummon. This guy has a deck that synergizes zero, but it's amazing because reasons. Dude, there's... No, no shot. No shot. I, I refuse to believe. And he can mutate on top of that. We're absolutely getting crushed perfectly. Such a bad deck. He has nothing! He literally has nothing. Well, I'm on... Well, I'm on five lands, and it's been, you know, 15 draws, so... It is what it is, technically. Okay, what now? I like how he chooses just to put everything into the hand. <laughs> uh, that's that's quite something. Okay, what are my options here? I can't... I don't have options, it seems like. Um... He's never blocking the Skycleave Apparition, now is he? Well, actually, it makes no difference. Yeah, I couldn't really can't do anything. <laughs> I like how he... <laughs> safety non-block. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Uh, the safety non-block. Okay, well... I, I don't have options. I just don't have options. My best play is going to be getting a land of what elf with Elspeth. Oh, I, I, I need to get some, I need to get some serious stuff. Can you bounce the Elspeth Conqueror's dead? Because, you know, no, seriously, of all the things that he could have gotten, Snake Whale was perfect, Unsummon was perfect, and the Shark, the Shark mutate for the bouncing is even better at this point. He could have technically gotten an abortion grazer. He could have gotten so many bad things, but nah, man. Nah, this guy's just gee, this guy's just living life. He he's got everything down. Oh look at that, an ondo inversion. The problem is, ondo inversion or not, I can't play it. I cannot play it. And there's nothing I can draw that allows me to play it. Okay, well, that's cute. Uh, yeah, there's no combination of cards that allows me to do anything here, right? Ah, uh, yes. In on an egg. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the, if, if you were allowed to pick, uh, pick cards on your own, you would probably get the six thing that summons things onto the board which is really really good but uh, this this is a close second wow yeah this this was no shot this was a no shot monday it's not monday but you know you're gonna see this video on monday so you know imagine this is in the no shot monday special holy hell did we get crushed yeah there's nothing we can do about it this deck should be good against us to a degree but this is just now. Nah, this this is just Omega Lucky. I hate you. Apex of Vicious. Cool art though. Definitely cool art. Is it alternative? This creature mutates. You may draw and discard cards. Blah blah blah. And I well, I'm not gonna surrender. He's probably gonna do that, and then he's gonna do the thing. I, I really think he has the 
what is it, llama thing or whatever. Oh, this is what they always use. The Tarask, because it has a VOD tent, which is kind of ridiculous. But yeah, I'm assuming he's going to do the mutate for the thing that exiles for each time you have mutated. Oh, just a squiddy boy. That's kind of lame and disappointing. Can you, can't you do better? Well, close enough. Is this like a known deck or something? Because I have seen all of this before. The Blight Blade for no reason. It, it, it's, it's, it's Brawl, dude. You're not gonna lose because you don't have a one drop. <laughs> well, I guess, anyway. This was Quizzer Sidson. Thanks for... Don't you have double strike? No, seriously, don't don't you have double strike or something? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. Wait, wait, wait. It does, because... The, oh, no, he has trample. Um... No. Okay, I still can't do any. Well, no, maybe I draw. Maybe I draw sublimely. Okay, still have a chance to draw. Uh, there is one card that can win. Okay, no. <laughs> it's it's not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. Yeah, that's that's trample. I can't believe he actually didn't win. Like what the actual hell? Oh, anyway, now it's time to say odd bye byes. So this was Quasar Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe, ham already, and check out the channel, and faster, faster. Have a nice day. Can you please be a little bit faster, like, just a little bit. Bye-bye. Explode.